Hey guys, so I was going through my Facebook and I ran across a post by Diviner List where he says it's official, I'm a full time gom, I'm a piano and afro house producer and DJ. Deep house or deep tech whatever can miss me. So when I saw this post, it hit me, I was like, what does he mean? You know, I, I went through the comments and there was a lot of mixed emotions. Everyone was kind of putting in the two cents. Some people were, you know, kind of saying, nah man, you're disappointing us, we're your fans. Why are you leaving Deep House? You're so talented. Some were actually saying they understand that it's all business and, you know, they appreciate that, you know, he came out and, you know, just didn't start doing different things. They actually told us and they understand what he's going through but i don't know the guy personally so i cannot say that i could be able to actually ask him what was going through his mind when he was making that decision and what made him do that but that's what i thought we'd talk about today and i'd hear from you guys what you think about this and i also tell you what i think might be the cause for some djs to take this route and actually leave a certain genre that actually built them up and made them to the brand that they are now so i thought we'd talk about that and kind of think and look at what would make someone kind of switch up because to me it sounds like he's coming from a place of disappointment where he's like deep house and deep tech and all that stuff can miss me but we all know that he's most popular for deep house and deep tech so what is the problem here is the problem him is the problem deep house or what what's really going on so that's what i want us to talk about today and i always try and help you guys on this channel to become more diverse to do more with your music because your creativity is limitless so you cannot limit yourself and say i'm gonna just be doing the one thing and not the other everyone can do everything else that anyone else has done no matter who you are it just takes dedication time and just the respect of the art that you're doing so when it comes to this post first of all if you're a hobbyist it would seem like he's kind of being selfish or he doesn't have love for what he's doing but if you look at this in a more business type of mindset you can understand what he's trying to say although i think that his execution though with what he was trying to say was kind of a bit offensive to the deep house fans out there and saying you know y'all can miss me and everything but i feel like if you're a business and a dj and you feel that you're not earning so much from your genre or what you're doing it could be a lot of factors that are making the business side you know go that way for you it might be you it might be your marketing it might be your team it it, it might be anything because music is changing it's evolving no matter what genre it is i mean look at hip-hop it's evolved so much through the years house has evolved all types of genres have evolved so if you're not going to evolve yourself and expect to still be getting the same results from your product then i think you're missing the point so this is what's happening with a lot of djs that they still feel that they're supposed to be getting the same respect and the same audience and the same kind of response they used to get when their genre and their style was hot right now when there's something else that to that's totally different now of which now you have styles like gom and styles like i piano those are styles that are really popping right now and they are really doing it big out there so you cannot expect deep house to still be the thing that is hot out right now in terms of the business side of things because when you start djing a lot and you want to earn more through your music you start to think about sales like you know sales of your music and you start to think of bookings now that is the business side of music that is now the music industry it's no longer just you being a hobbyist and just doing it on you know in your spare time but this is now a business and as a business you must always evolve with your customers customers always want different things depending on the time because they follow trends so if you're not going to follow the trends that are happening now and try and shift you know what I mean? Not like really change your bass sound or change your bass style or your bass product, but just shift a little or try and do a bit more of what is going on now, what is good for your business, but still staying true to where you're coming from. So I feel like it was a bit unfair to the Deep House community that actually built him up in saying that they can miss, you know, they can miss him with all that deep take and stuff like that. But he should have just went through a route where he could have been like, yo, look, um, you're gonna be seeing me do more diverse sounds and do more different styles but I'm still true to my original style that you know and you love a lot of DJs have been shifting um, styles through the years the biggest DJ we have in this country right now is black coffee and 
whenever he plays, no matter where he plays, he always tries to incorporate different styles. So that's what most DJs and most producers are supposed to be doing if you really want to move forward with your business. But if you're a hobbyist, then that is up to you. You don't need to change your style or worry about how you know the the, the style you're going to get into is going to affect your business because the, the business side of the music is not you know it's it's not in your interest it's not what you're looking for you're just looking to make the music and that's all you're trying to do so i want to know what you guys think about this issue i feel like a lot of people were talking about this but music is, is going to keep changing and we are involved in it and as a community we need to talk about these things so we know what to do when the time comes when you know that your sound or your style is now obsolete and you now need to move on to the next thing what do you do what do you do to your diehard fans that you're going to be leaving back there when you're busy changing your style so i want to know down in the comments what you guys think about this you know be honest about your opinion let us all kind of get our minds together and you know discuss what is really going on is deep house a genre that is like slowly coming out of the business side is it weak on the business side or is it still good can you still make a living being a deep house dj and can you still earn and can you be big with just doing deep house or deep tech i want to know what you guys think so let me know down in the comments if you're new to the channel subscribe down below leave a like if you like this video it supports the channel so much so i'm gonna see you guys in my next video that's all for me today i'm mix and i'm out peace